how does it feel to, to pick up that win to start the weekend? Um, it's really awesome. We've been working really hard the last couple months, and to come out here and just to win 2-0 is really great for us. Well, it was, a, it was a great opponent. I mean, Seattle's a fantastic team. You don't beat Texas on the road and draw at Portland if you're not a good side. And, uh, I mean, we got our, our goal early, and I knew it was going to take one more to finish this thing off because they were pushing, and uh, thank goodness we closed it out there. We're really excited because um, our pass with this team was a little rocky two years ago, and I, I remember I watched the seniors lose when um, – I was red shirting my freshman year, so I made a promise to myself that we're never going to lose to Seattle U again. Um, I know that our excitement will carry over to um, Sunday, but we won't let this um, win get to our head. Ella Diedrich with a nice night in net for you guys. Can you talk about her play a little bit and what she did for the, the defense as a whole? I mean, let's not forget, as you said, what Ella's doing here. I mean, Mo's getting a lot of press because she's scoring goals, but let's not forget our, our goalkeeper there. And Ella's doing a great job commanding, controlling the game, setting the tone, and, uh, and she had a couple key saves tonight, too, to keep us in the game there early. To have those four in front of you very consistent this season. Those four are some of the hardest workers I've ever seen, um, and they're also very consistent. So I always have trust in them. Um, I believe in them 100%, and I always feel comfortable going into a game with those back four. You talked about not having to rely just on Morgan, but she's a player right now that is certainly in a groove. What have you seen offensively that is allowing her to finish right now for you guys very consistently? Well, it's confidence when you start scoring. It usually comes in uh, bunches. So. Do you feel pretty comfortable where you are on the field? Is that something that you're kind of getting more used to as more matches go by? Um, I'm getting more used to it, honestly, because I started at forward, and now I play attacking mid, and then you have to figure out, because we're playing a box, so you have to work um, with your defensive mids and your um, attacking mids to play with your forwards, and so it's kind of confusing, but I'm starting to get the hang of it. We found her some different roles, and now the goals are starting to fall. So again, she's a freshman, we got to keep moving her along, and uh, it's back to reality for her, and she, you know, she'll be ready to go starting tomorrow again. How key was that run by Overland to get back to the middle of the field and to create that two-on-one opportunity for you guys? I mean, it was a great transitional goal. We got out of the back, cleared it out. Overland held the ball for us. She rolled her player, and she did something that was fantastic. She dribbled and committed to the defender and then slipped the ball to Mo. So how good the goal was for Mo, that's credit Alicia for allowing that to help. Hold on the ball, face up, run out of the defender, and then slip the ball when needed. Is there something you're most proud about in your team here in tonight's match? Yeah, I mean, Seattle's a great team. I mean, a shutout at home. Um, we're looking for momentum, momentum, excuse me, to get into the Pac-12 play here. And we don't want any setback. And uh, we'll move on from this win, and it's all about Boise State now for us.